you know, you build it and they will come, they do. You gotta be patient, but you've got to know your wines and you've gotta make good quality wines. And sometimes it's, and I tell these young guys, it's like this kid last night, you know, he was talking about it and he goes, yeah, I know, Kim, don't fall in love with them. People go, I love this wine, don't fall in love with them. Just drink them. So that's our huge thing. Kim McPherson is an entrepreneur, a savvy businessman, a wine connoisseur, and is also a distinguished Texas Tech alum. His wines have won over 450 medals in state, national, and international wine competitions. He plays an innovative and dynamic role in the development of the Texas wine industry. The McPhersons have been pioneering family and grape growing and winemaking in Texas for over 40 years. My little brother's a winemaker, and I was coming back to Trefethen in, in uh, Napa. My daughter graduated from the University of Texas, and she worked at Trefethen, and they didn't really know who she was, and then she started Sam McPherson and blah, 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 and they go, oh my gosh, your dad worked here. So she's involved in the wine business and she's going for her sommelier, master sommelier. She thinks she's gonna tell me. Oh. <laughs> we'll see. In 1976, Dr. Clinton A. McPherson, also known as Doc, a chemistry professor at Tech, and Bob Reed founded Lano Estacado Winery in Lubbock, one of the first post-prohibition Texas wineries. However, Kim attributes his family's success to his mother. She was behind Doc in a lot of things, you know getting things done and you know making sure that everything was on an even keel and because sometimes my dad was sort of out there on an artist type thing you know what I mean he was making wines and thinking of this when hey 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 we gotta get you know she kept the thing going so my dad was the one that you know did all the the stuff in the garage but you know he got he got money raised and he built the winery and it's it's the second largest winery in the state. You know. West Texas plays a vital role in the Texas wine industry. This is where all the best grapes are grown, right up here, <clears throat> really, 40 miles south of here. I mean, right there on the edge of, of Lubbock County, 1585 and south, this is where all the best, this is where all the wineries come for their fruit. His advice to young entrepreneurs, be persistent. I'm just telling the young people, don't give up. You gotta take it and you gotta grab the deal and you, the dream and you gotta run with it. You can't sit here and think about how it might have been. I mean, I could sit here and go, God, what if I'd have stayed in California? And it's like, no, well, it, you know, it just led me here. Kim and Doc were inducted into the Who's Who in Food and Wine in the Texas Hall of Fame in 1999. And Kim created the McPherson Cellars label in 2000 to honor his father. Reporting for Texas Tech Public Broadcasting, I'm Lauren Bogle.